Hi everybody, I'm Robin from Talks from the Heart. We're gonna do my September 2021 B6 Stology setup in this video. I will not show the entire process because I actually go pretty slow and it would be really boring for you guys. And also, um, Mary is over this afternoon. She has a split shift, so I wanna spend some time with her. I am filming this on Tuesday, the 31st of August. I cannot believe that my birthday month is ending tonight at midnight. Hello. I had the best birthday. Um, and thank you everybody for all your well wishes. Um, so I'm just going to show you really quick what I'm going to try to use to be creative with. I've got my tabs out. I'm actually going to try to use some tabs. I don't really know what I'm going to, what I'm going to use. So I'm going to set that aside. Then I did pull out some date dots and, um, some day covers. And this is the system I'm using where I just have everything in its own individual pouch. So I'm going to put that back. I'm going to pull out my stencils from Kathy's pouches. I will use, um, I've, I've got some changes. And so I'm going to use this for my gratitude. And then I'm going to use the um, monthly here for three different spreads. Um, I do have, and I'll get to it here in a second. So I'm going to put these stencils back. I love stencils, you guys. It makes it where you just have to buy the image once and then you can just be creative with it after that. So it does really save some money. Um, I have my pouch with all of my pre-cut for B6 vellums and we're going to kind of pick through that, I think. And then also my acetates. Lots of different choices. Um, and then I think I'll probably just pick through that off camera because I, I do have a lot. Um, and then also this is just a big, big folder that I keep ready to go for the next month and also months ahead. And um, I do that because it helps me to have everything contained. So this is what I thought I would create with. I think I'm going to go with these date dots from Philo Fabulous. And Rachel from Rachel Beauty Plan sent this to me. Thank you so much, Rachel. We've been doing some trading. Um, I think I'm not going to need these, but So Cute Planner does do clear foil date dots. I'll, I'll link, their, link that shop below. I think I'm going to use this. I need three full months, and I think it all matches and it does the trick. And you'll see here, I'm going to try to use the blues and I think it goes really well with that. So these are from Pookie Bear Cuties, again, using up my stash. These are colorways that she carries and functional and I'm going to just keep it really simple in my weeklies. I'm not gonna use um, planner kits with full boxes. Um, I am going to copy though the way Rachel did it. I just watched one of her videos and I'm like, ooh, I like that, I like it a lot. So I plan the entire month ahead um, and the reason I do that, and actually this one doesn't match. So I'm going to set that aside and save it for later. And same with this one. So, okay, I did not plan that. Um, I plan the entire month right in one sitting because I feel like if, when I used to do it every week, Sundays just creeped up and bit me in the rear end and I did not like it. So I like to just get the whole month done and then I can um, just have it done. And believe it or not, you guys know it goes quickly enough as it is. Um, this is a screenshot from, okay, I got just a little bit of positivity on Instagram. Um, I, I took this a long, ago, long, long time ago and I kind of want to use it in the setup. So I just had a photograph printed of it. And then the vinyl that I liked was, so um, nothing to be alarmed about, but this past couple of weeks, I've really been struggling keeping a positive attitude and it's with everything going on in the world and that I have um, a family, a close, close family member that's deployed. <sighs> it just, there's a lot on my mind. And um, sometimes you just have to remind yourself that you are enough. This is from Planning with Manny and I just printed this off. I may glue this in. This vinyl from Kitty Zombie Co. is I Am Enough. Who I am is enough. What I do is enough. Because sometimes when the world goes haywire, you can kind of feel a little helpless. 
and what I have is enough. And that bottom statement also is very vital to me right now since I'm really trying to break habits of overspending and using what I have and being okay with what I have. So this was gifted to me by Kitty Zombie Co. I do have a promo code for her and I'll put it below. Um, this vinyl sticker, gosh, for the life of me, I've had it a long time. I cannot remember where it's from. Again, just trying to use cheery things. It may not all match, but I'm okay with that. Okay, I got these two card stocks from Hobby Lobby. Again, not sure if I'm going to use these, but I did have them set aside as an option for this month. If I put them side by side, um, I think I'm okay with them not matching, but they really don't match. So um, I could do, I might do just the butterflies because I can get two B6 out of an eight and a half by 11. So we'll see because I'm not much of a fan of the rainbows going that way. Um, I think that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. We shall see. And then I always like to use one of my, I have a lot of these because I kind of hoarded them for a while. They're five by seven stickers from Sweet Quiet Designs. And I just thought this was really timely for me. Um, you are strong and you've got this. And, you know, sometimes um, keeping the home fires burning is just as much work sometimes. And when you talk to somebody who's having a rough time, you kind of want to be that positive force when they call up. You don't want to be a downer. And so, I don't know. I just thought of that when I looked at this. And I think I want to use it. Um, I have some stickers left over from last month that I'm probably going to use. And then a piece of vellum that's cheery that I ripped out of my cousin as I dissected my cousin. So this will fit. It's a little bent, but I'm okay. And this is from Kitty Zombie Co. So this folder is really coming in handy for me. Um, this is what I have. I have it all mapped out um, for Pistology. I, in this book, will be able to get September and October, and then I'll have to move into a different one. I'm not much for worried about, I'm not worried about, whether or not I'm going to have end it at December 31st. I can't. I did map it out, spent a couple of days figuring out how I could squish everything together. And I thought, okay, it's a notebook. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the pages. And so that's what I decided to do. So this will be the cover page, which I think I'm going to do this with some stickers and decorations and maybe tip in something pretty. And then I have my weather tracker, which I use the um, this monthly, I lost the other side. I use this and I will show it you guys after it's all done, but I just kind of wanna um, create off camera. It'll just go a lot quicker and more smoothly. And then sticker a day. It was really, really working for me last month. And um, you can see that I, I just really had fun with that. So I'm going to continue to do that. That was the first month that I ever did it, and I really had fun. I still have to get caught up, but that's that's the fun part, you guys. And then my spending habits, I was keeping it on a little, like, printable calendar. And I realized that when I marked that I didn't spend, I would go back and I would look at the days that I didn't have a sticker on. And this was how I was doing it. So everything with a star, I didn't spend anything. But here and here, I think I spent like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I want a spread like this where I can write in on the day I do spend something on what I spent it on. That's really important to me. So I'm going to do a two-page spread here. I've moved my um, intermittent fasting and diet tracking to the Hobonichi Weeks, and I've talked about that in the previous video. And then here, I'm going to decorate this page, gratitude log, and then we're going to ramp into the daily pages. And I think I'm going to just create a column here and put in all of the activities right here at the spine because I'm starting to get a hump. And then I'll just log what happens that day in highlights on the outer side of the pages. And um, we'll do that. I actually have to pull some washi. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to decorate this up and come back with a flip. Okay, so I thought I would turn the camera on and kind of show you the first um, monthly spread. I have stenciled it out. And I have chosen um, this washi from So Cute Planner. And I will um, give you some close-ups. And then I've um, chosen this... Um, clean color dot in blue bonnet. I'm going to use one of my Simply Gilded bows and I'm going to, is that the way to, 
I'm gonna tip this in. I'm gonna use my corner rounder. I always round the corners, the outside corners. And this corner rounder is the bomb. One of my viewers recommended it a while ago and I love it. Okay, so that's gonna need some trimming. And so I'm just going to eyeball it just a tiny bit. I'll just follow the edges of the bows. And I did use some double-sided tape last month. I did not like the feel of it, so I'm going to tip it in the way I always do with washi. But the other thing that I do is I don't really have a blue Tombow, so I like to kind of do this. So we're going to kind of do a bluish gray, and I just do this. Okay, and that's color N60. I'm gonna take my Klenna. Love this pen. Okay, and then just write Monday. Just write the days of the week. Wednesday, I always have to squish in there. I have to keep telling Mary she's out in the living room watching one of her shows on Netflix. And I'm like, I'm filming. I'm not talking to you. And she's like, okay. <laughs> All right. And then Sunday. Okay. I am not very good at being on camera right now, am I? Okay. So let's see. I think... Where did I put it? Months. I do like to use month of the stickers. Ooh, I'll use uh, this one from Randy.Plans. Um, she sent me this a long time ago. I actually shared with her on Instagram the video and then never heard back from her, but I will link the shop below. Um, this is on clear. I like that. Ah, that's going to look really good. Okay. So then I'm going to use, oh, where's my washi cutter? Oh my goodness, see, I wasn't prepared. Um, I'm just gonna grab this for right now and just put some washi. And I do like how you can just follow the grid lines for lining stuff up. This one, this is my little kitty cutter from Amazon. They were like $5.99 for a set of three, and I love it. Okay, you just don't need very much pressure on that. There we go. And now it's straight. hope I'm getting okay light. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm just going to put another piece right under that. So I decorated a little bit, but nothing like crazy. And then I'm gonna pick, I think I'm gonna stick with this kind of um, bluish gray, simply gilded um, envelope seal. And I just love these so much. But see, the, there's a little gray there, so that'll pick up the gray of the Tombow. And I think I'll just put it up top there. And before tipping this in, I will add the date dots, which will go great with this, okay? And then the other thing that I do to make it interesting is I take the little chunky end and I just in each section add a dot. I love these and cannot say enough about them. Okay, and I do that because that way I get the color dot in there before I add the washi. Okay, and I think to save time, I'll just do this side right here, and then I'll just show you how I tip it in. Lots of different ways, but I do get asked that sometimes. So we're gonna take the washi, we're going to take, close this up, kind of clear our work area. And then this is the other color I'm gonna use. Ooh, we got our light back. I think it's some shadowing that happens. So I'm gonna take this and 
Yep, I think it's like, okay, um, it's like that. So what I do, let's move this, is I just add some washi, and I like this because it allows me to flip it um, on the page more smoothly. Uh, my mat's getting all used up, that's okay. All right, and then I just bend this back, center it, and you know, this is a very forgiving way because washi is very forgiving, right? Okay, line it up and tuck it deep in there. And I got it crooked, so I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit, straighten it out. Okay. It also gives it more color, I think, too. All right, and then I'm gonna reinforce it by just pre-cutting a piece. And you just need a little bit. So I'm just gonna make sure it overlaps onto the stenciled area just a little bit. And that's all you need. Now when I use the double face, it's stuck. And I didn't I didn't like that. So this actually allows me to flip it and see the whole thing. So that's gonna be, uh, there we go. That's gonna be my weather tracker. I am going to lay down these and then move on to the next one, which I won't show on camera, but I thought that you guys would enjoy that. All right, so I'll be back. I'll be back now with the flip. Okay, everybody, I think I'm done. Literally one, two, three, four, five, five and a half hours it took me. Um, I'm telling you, I'm slow. I'm so slow. <laughs> but I'm really excited with this setup because I really feel like I took my time and had fun. And I also had Mary help me a little bit. She came in and, of course, supervised me. And why aren't you putting a sticker there? Why aren't you? And I just looked at her. I'm like, I got this. Okay, I got this. <laughs> so if you're new to this channel, Mary is my non-planner bestie. And um, she's been on the channel. And um, she, she keeps me in check, you guys. So with the stickers that I pulled, the tan and the blue, I used all of them. I am so excited that I'm using my stash. This is my Stalogy. It, um, this is the tab for September. Um, I very much like to use these removable tabs because you can just um, take those on and off however you see fit. Okay, this is, I'm gonna look for it here. I'm gonna look for it. There we go. So this is my first spread, and we're just gonna go over stuff rel relatively quickly, because it's not complicated, but I have some tabs here, and I don't know, I, I struggle with using tabs only because I don't like a lot sticking out, but uh, Rachel did send me some Josephine, Josephine, oh my goodness, Josephine Bow Designs, um, oh, I like that one. Hmm. I think I'm going to use the yellow one in a different spot. And then I think what I'm going to do is just take out this my Simply Gilded ones. And I'm going to look for the one that I used here. Okay, I just wanted to find um, this. And so I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to use the same bow and then one of these. And I do traditionally always do this where I stick it on the acetate. So I'm just going to kind of see. I think I'm just going to go straight middle. And this is how I do it. I, I just have a little bit sticking out. That's even too much. Ah, it's okay. And because these are equal facing... It makes it really easy to make a tab. And um, I've been doing this for quite a long time. Okay, so there is a tab. This is where I'm gonna track my weather. 
And I just used my Tombows, the washi tape from So Cute Planner, and then um, Randy Dot Plans. And I'll, I'll link everything that I can remember. Actually, I when I edit, I go through the video and I make notes of everything I'm supposed to, um, I'm supposed to uh, link below. So I'm pretty faithful about that. This is from um, Rose Colored Days. I thought this turned out just beautiful. I'm gonna really have fun looking at this all, all month. Then this is my sticker a day. This turned out really great too. I'm really excited. I didn't put anything in the middle because Mary told me I couldn't. <laughs> she's like, no, it doesn't need it. I'm like, okay. So she's at work now, so I'm free to be me. <laughs> All right, she picked out this washi. I sent her, I, I gave her some busy work. And I gave her this piece of vellum, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous tile pattern from Sterling Ink. I've got a coupon code below for 20% off. And then I gave her this and this, and I said, come back with some washi. And she picked out this Simply Gilded Mermaid washi. So I don't know. I wouldn't have done that. But this is my spending. I'm going to get to put a sticker in the square if I don't spend. And if I do, I'm just going to write down what I spent and how much it was. And so, um, yeah, this turned out beautifully too. Here is, is that it? Yeah, I just had the three. Did I show you the cover page? No, I did not. So I decided to just use the butterfly cardstock with the Simply Gilded Butterfly Washi. And then I just pulled this from my archives, a piece of um, vellum and then this is just an old September sticker from Michaels and I just kept it pretty clean okay I can you know you can always add more stickers as as it goes on but okay so this is from Kitty Zombie Co this is from planning with Manny this is also the washi tape here's the washi tapes that I used I kept them close these three are from So Cute Planner, and these are from Simply Gilded. And um, yeah, that's what I used. I love it. Okay, so this was just a free printable. I added the washi and then the vinyl. This is my gratitude log for the month. I get to just write one thing. That's really, I, it's, a, it's a great practice that I've enjoyed for months. Um, Okay, so I used this five by seven sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs, and then I just added a little flower crown from um, Simply Gilded, and just, I had to make it girly, you guys. And so, okay, so this is what I decided to do, was I decided to draw a line, and in the column closest to the, bi closest to the, sp um, the spine, because this is starting to get a hump, this stuff I don't have to write. So here on the to-do list or the uh, brainstorming or whatever I decide to write here, I thought it would be easier to not have to battle with the hump on this side. So I just put everything that um, everything that is going to happen or is scheduled or birthdays. Happy birthday, Heidi! And ooh, I forgot. I wanted to add. She is my rainbow friend. And so we have to, she's going to laugh and be like, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, whatever. Yay for Heidi. She's my rainbow friend. She loves rainbows. So there you go. In honor of Heidi's birthday, we're adding a rainbow from Simply Gilded. Okay. And so this is what's happening. So I think what I'm going to do is just quickly flip. I just kept it really, really simple. I matched the tan and gold. And um, yeah, it, I just flip through this every day. I basically wake up and this ends up in my lap with my coffee. I brainstorm what I want to happen that day or I write memories of what happened the day previous. It just keeps me on track with everything. And trash day. I decided to uh, do that on a Wednesday the 15th because I have so much going on with remembering Cooper's flea and tick and things like that. So I just kept it really clean and simple. The 17th, the ultimate planner sale starts. On the 18th, I have to film a PR collab for Pookie Bear Cuties. There's gonna be a number of us doing a plan with me video using the same exact kit. 
and then it goes live on YouTube at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time in the U.S. And so guess what? Guess who's visiting? I'm so excited. Um, yay. I am happy to announce that Sarah will be visiting me on the 21st for two days. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to do our Hobonichi unboxing. We had it shipped directly to, we're going to have it shipped directly to me. And I'm not going to open it till she gets here. And I'm just crazy excited about this visit. So it is Sarah Martinez from YouTube. And you will get to see her on the video. So stay tuned for that. And I do have her permission to uh, share that she will be visiting me. And so that is the month. Unfortunately, here's the thing. I said to her, oh my gosh, I'm going to look like crap. And so is Cooper because two days after you leave, Cooper gets groomed and then I get my my uh, hair done. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's okay. I'm not fancy. I'm like, I get it. Me neither. I just laughed because I thought I'm not going to reschedule everything because um, then it throws my whole cycle off. So, okay. So that is the month of September. I had a page. I decided to take that vellum and I do chart uh, deployment for somebody. And here it is. And I'm just going to write day and then what day it is, how, how long that person's been gone. These are from Pookie Bear Cuties. So cute. And then custom word stickers from Elvira's shop. And, um, and then I just made it special and I thought this was really meaningful for me um the yellow washi tape you know kind of tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree and waiting for um your your service person to come home and I thought the yellow um daisies were just appropriate for that and I wanted to use it so I thought that would that's great so that is how my September that's how my September setup turned out I um, I had the best time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope you got some ideas. And um, thank you, you guys, so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Okay, well, I'm gonna edit this in. I am really bombing. It's because it's getting late. I made a new cover. I took a fake Louis Vuitton. Uh, tote and made my own cover and I'm really excited because I think it turned out pretty good and so I'm just going to do that now I didn't want to punch a hole here yet for it because um, I just want to see how it fits and how it kind of curves to the book and so I'm going to do that okay I'm going to put my pen in my pretty easily fashioned pen loop and then the other thing is I usually traditionally keep some stickers here for my tracking and I have to have my Pookie Bear Cuties business card which I will stick actually I think I'm going to just stick it right in here in this little pouch that was given to me by Sarah. I have affirmation cards that I carry with me. And so it's gonna go really well just there. And then I have to get my Sterling ink out. And I think I'm gonna just pick sand or latte, wait. Nope, I like sand. I'm gonna pick sand and I'm gonna pick the circles. Oh, I'm gonna pick the stars and the hearts. And I'm gonna stick them in there because what I do with those is when I, um, well, see now the pen's gonna be in the way. When I do tracking like my um, no spend, and actually I really only need one, I get to put a sticker down and so, Hmm, I think I'm gonna do the stars. And I was tracking more, so I needed more shapes, but I think I'm gonna do the stars and just leave it at that. And so I'll put that back in my sticker book later. So back to your regular scheduled program after I do this. So I just did a, um, I just did this to keep it shut. And um, when I wanna make a permanent decision about poking a hole in this, I will do that. 
So, okay, back to the video. All right, well, in typical Robin fashion, I forgot to add this bow, and I wanted to do it here on this last page just, just to make it special. So I think I'm gonna do it up top here. And then just fold that over. I'm telling you, I, I need to use tabs and bows more. Or not bows, but tabs. So, it's not straight. See, this is why. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so this is from Josephine Bow Designs. And Rachel, um, I'm gonna share her PR code because that's always good to get a sale price. Pretty. Oh, love these. So Rachel sent these to me, so that's why they're kind of cut off the sheet. But, oh, thank you so much, Rachel. I love it. And doesn't that look sweet? Oh, it does. Okay, I'm goodbye for now, for sure. <laughs> See you next time, you guys. Bye-bye.